So I'm Rissa and I work at Blue Hills in the horse hospital. I'm a horse vet. I've been coming to Urban Life for quite a lot of years and I'm the person who hides at the back of the church with my dog, mostly because I'm on call and that just became a comfortable place to be. I was with a horse and she got sick and she needed colic surgery. Now colic surgery means cutting them open, taking the whole gut out and trying to sort out the problem. And horses unfortunately do this a lot of the time and she'd actually twisted her gut. So we put it all back together again, put her, brought her out of surgery. 12 hours after the surgery, she started showing signs of pain again, which is very abnormal. We decided that if the owner agreed that we would go back to surgery, that, that was our only option to do surgery again or to put her down. So we went into surgery for the second time, opened her up again, and her gut is twisted and needs untwisting. Now at this stage, the gut is bruised and not very happy that it's been handled within the last 24 hours. And I knew God had to heal her as well. I've been following the Unstoppable series. And a few weeks ago when Jono spoke on audacious faith, I really felt God move for me. And I was one of those people who put my hand up and said, yes, I actually want God to, to use me to heal people or to be in healing and obviously because I'm always working with animals that would be the most natural thing for me to do so I will always be a vet and doctor but I want to use more and have God's power. So it was at this point that I realized I needed to step out and say it out loud. So I said to Hildegard who's the surgeon we're going to have faith that God's going to heal this horse upon which the assistant surgeon raised her eyebrows and looked at me and said well that's not my department you girls better pray. And the assistant, who's in surgery, is a total non-believer. So I started to pray and I said to the two grooms, do you believe in God? And they were like, no. And they were looking at this gut as if to say, this is not going to make it. So I prayed and I felt like I was putting my head on a block. And that was the first step of real faith that I took in public. And from there we went through and after the anesthetic, when she was recovering, I started praying out loud with my mom on the phone. And God did the first miracle. She stood up without any problems. And one of the grooms came from the theater the next day and started to laugh when he saw me with the horse. And I said, Sam, what's so funny? And he said, I didn't think this horse was gonna live. And I said to him, and you didn't believe there was a God. And there is a God. 